I'm the Disc Golf Guy and this is my video blog. I'm still talking the Maricopa Meadows Open presented by Latitude 64, but clearly the introduction is shot here in Wisconsin with a bunch of snow and 16 degrees. Trust me, I wanna go back. One thing we're gonna talk about today though in, that I've never done in 363 previous videos is we're gonna break down one component of the game, specifically jump putts or step putts. We saw both Dave Felberg and Paul Uliberry with their version of a step putt, which have become very popular and we see them by a number of our professionals out on the tour. Inevitably, the second one of these videos gets posted with featuring the step putt, somebody out there is calling for a foot fault. They're wondering why the other people on their card aren't calling it and they wanna know what's going on. Here's the rule according to the PDGA. This is 802.04 found on pdga.com slash rules. Throwing from a stance, part B. When the disc is released, a player must, one, have at least one supporting point that is in contact with the lie, and two, have no supporting point in contact with the marker disc or any object including the player service, closer to the target than the rear edge of the marker disc. And three, have all supporting points in bounds. So you be the judge. I've broken these down for you in real time, 50% slow-mo and 15% slow-mo. You'll see a number of putts by both Paul and Dave, and then you can let me know what you think as to if they're truly foot faulting or not. Again, that's PDGA rule. 802.04, check it out for throwing from a stance, and let's see what you think. So, what'd you think? Personally, disc golf guy stance on this, pardon the pun, they look completely legal to me. Each time you see them throw, their left foot is coming down just moments after they've already released the disc, therefore making it a legal putt and a legal throw. In real time, it's very tough to tell. One could say it looks close. In 50%, it's still tough to tell. But as I broke it down in other ways, looking at various frames and watching them play in person, I'm gonna go ahead and say they have legal putts, legal stance, therefore legal throws. That's the Disc Golf Guy breakdown with Paul and Dave for the famous step putt.